Hello and welcome back to Applied Advanced Calculus. My name is Nathaniel Posizorski and today we're going to be looking at Green's Theorem. Let's jump into it. So we're going to be given an F which is equal generally to PDX plus QDY. Green's Theorem states that the closed integral, the closed line integral of PDX plus QDY is equal to the double integral of di q over di x minus di p over di y times dA. Now it's important to know that this is only for closed line integrals. And so this is what Green's theorem states. We're going to look at an example now to better understand it. So if we're given f of x y, which is equal to minus cos y plus y times i or dx, plus x sine y times j or dy, it's clear that our p is minus cos y plus y, and our q is x sine y. Also, this question is very similar to a question that came up on my second exam. We're asked to find the work along the closed curve. The fact that it's closed already gives you a hint that you could use Green's theorem. And they tell you the closed curve C is traced by RT, which is equal to 2 cos t for the x component and 2 sine t for the y component. And t is between 0 and 2 pi. So if we're to do the double integral of di q over di x minus di p over di y times dA, we simply get the double integral of sine y minus sine y minus 1 dA, which is simply the double integral of minus 1 dA. Now, an important uh, aspect to understand is that the double integral of dA is simply the area. So if ever you're given the base and the height, you could simply find the area by doing the double integral of dA. Now, we were also told a vector of RT, which is 2 cos t and 2 sine t for the x and y components. So by looking at that, we know that x is 2 cos t, y is 2 sine t, and we're told that t is from 0 to 2 pi. This clearly shows that it's a circle of radius 2. An important aspect to also understand is that if we were told that it's going counterclockwise, it's positive. If it's going clockwise, it's negative. Now that we have all this information, we could simply calculate the double integral of minus 1 dA by using polar coordinates dA becomes r dr d theta, r going from 0 to 2, and theta, which in this case is just t in this question, from 0 to 2 pi. But it's the same thing as we did before with theta. If we do the double integral of 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2, minus 1, r dr dt, it simply gives us minus 4 pi. And that's it. That's how we solve Green's theorem problems. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.